zero business objects okay so basically for what purpose we are going to do this sap integration and what we are going to get from sap so basically why we are going to create a universe means to create web reports on sap data mm -hmm. okay to yes. create web reports on sap data sources we are going to create universe mm -hmm. okay in bo we have some mandatory is need to create an universe on sap source okay, okay. that is required sources for example where universe is going to support some of the following sources with sap okay in okay. sap some of the sources we have those are like infocube multi provider infosec and bexquery okay we'll write down over here for creating web reports on sap data source okay in mm -hmm. bo the mandatory is need to create an universe on sap sources Okay, where well you can say require sources. Okay, over here in this SAP Universe supports for the following sources. Have you seen the SAP sources, Amrita? No, no, haven't. No. Okay. See, basically, uh, where to which source we can connect in SAP? Like, for example, if you want to create a universe, mm -hmm. we do have a BW system in SAP, right? Yeah. In BW system, we have some sources where we call it as info providers. Mm -hmm. Where we call it as info, info providers. providers. Okay. Yes. The following are the info providers which is available actually. Okay, those mm -hmm. are info cubes, multi provider, info set, back queries. Okay. These are the four major SAP universes are going to support. Okay? Okay. Okay, here we do have some mandatory requirements for creating universe on SAP. Okay? okay. What are they? We'll see before that. We'll log in into BW system. Mm -hmm. Okay? And we'll, uh, we'll see that how these info providers are available in BW system. Okay. Okay. Uh, just go to SAP logon pad. Okay. Over here. Double click on BW. Okay. Okay. Provide username and password. Okay, where to go R S A one to see the so everything. So it is a administration console actually. It's a main T code in BW system. Okay? Please remember. Okay. R S A one is a main T code. See, it's a data warehouse. 
workbench total everything you can navigate from here itself in rsa one itself okay? okay so i want to see now i want to see info providers right see for example if i want to see info set see they have named something like this info set right these are all, these all are info sets okay these all are info objects okay where he want to see the info cube right mm -hmm. this is dso okay This is info cubes. Okay. 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 So basically, these are the info cubes, multi providers. This will be the multi providers. This will be the info set, like this. We do have mm -hmm. so many sources over here. By using okay. these sources, actually, these sources what exactly do mean? These sources will store the data in a different different. Store table. the data. Yes. Okay. Under these info providers, mm -hmm. there will be some tables. Okay. In that mm -hmm. tables, data is going to be stored. So okay. info set and info cube. I mean info cube, info set, multi provider. Is the data stored as a different different kinds? Yes, different different kinds. See, basically, okay. where info cube is the physical storage of data. Coming uh -huh. to info set and multi provider, it's a runtime data. It 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 holds runtime data. When you run, when you use that, then only it is going to execute with the data. Or okay. else it, it, should, it is not going to store any physical data in multi okay. provider and info set. Coming okay. to the info queue, it's a physical data where it is going to be stored. And coming to the black queries, these all queries will be like it's a uh, it's a query actually where you you are going to build on info cube or multi provider or info set the queries. Okay. okay? Black queries means you are going to build a query on top of reporting on top of info cubes, DSOs, okay, info sets, multi providers in BW system. Not in BO okay. system. Okay? okay, you okay. can connect to that that query as well with BO system. Okay. okay? Mm -hmm. So now we'll see the mandatory requirement for creating a universe on SAP. Okay. Okay, so I done first one. Vivo flying tune must be installed. SCP GUI must be installed. Just now I have shown you the GUI. Mm -hmm. This one should be installed. Must be installed. Why? Because where you are going to connect to the origin source systems, right? So mm -hmm. that should be maintained in a GUI. Then only it is going to interact in BWO system with BW. Okay. 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 Yeah. Well, this is about well, this is about Moxie three point one version. Okay. Get between SAP and Vivo must be installed.
must be up and running. Okay. Fifth one is single sign on. This is so between CPN. Okay, these are the five major steps where we need to maintain. Okay, okay. then only we can develop a universe on top of the city. Okay, Okay, hmm. so now we'll configure the single sign on over here. Okay, these all are running now, right? These all are maintained. My Vivo client is installed in my system, UI is installed in my system. Integration kit between SAP and Vivo must be installed. That is also done. SAP and Vivo server must be up and running. That is also done. It's working fine now. So, single sign on is not yet done. So, have to do this. Before that, we'll know about Boxy 4.x. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, all the steps are same. Okay. But this integration kit between SAP and Vivo won't be there. When you install the Vivo client tools, automatically integration kit is also installed. Okay, so okay. no need to maintain it separately. Okay? Okay. Now. Okay. Now, we'll see about creating a single sign-on between SAP and Vivo. Okay? Basically, mm -hmm. this is... So this job is related to administrator, okay, or a basis role, actually. What I will show means I will show you the screen where, where how to configure and what parameters you need to give over there, okay? Okay. Why? Because we need to have a use, uh, we need to have a ID, user ID from VW system where it should configure in VW system first, okay? After that, that ID we are going to use in Vivo system. So, this activity is going to be done by administrators. So, I'm not going to do this, but I will show that how to configure single sign-on in Vivo system, okay? Yeah. Now, we'll log in into our server. Okay, now log in into CMC, Central Management Console. Means go to Google Chrome. Okay, went in the URL over here. Click enter.
okay log in into cnc central management console with admin administrator user account not with the developer user account yeah. you should log in with the administrator user account why because administrator is going to have the permissions to do these all activities okay yeah. now we to go click on navigate to authentication Okay, over here, which system we are using? SAP, right? Double click on SAP system. Where we call it as the entitlement system over here. See, these all are configured already. We'll delete. Okay. This is my first tab. In this first tab, we are going to maintain the logical system. Okay, means mm -hmm. see, for example, why we need to use single sign-on concept. First of all, why we need to configure single sign-on concept in Vivo. See, for example, Amrita, like we have a user called ABC. Okay, that is that user is available in BW system. Okay, that user is available in BW system. Now I want to use the same user with the same password without creating, without maintaining. Okay, automatically it should appear in BW system. The same credentials I need to get from BW system without creating. How I can do that? By configuring this single sign-on concept, you can get those users updated over here with the same username and with the same password. Okay? By okay. using the same username and password, you can log in also. Okay? That is okay. going to be happening. Okay, now over here the entitlement system. I need to configure this logical system so that I can connect to that particular system. Like, see, for example, uh, I want to connect to this BW system. Okay, means I need to configure this, right? Just copy and paste the IP. System number is double zero. Is it double zero or zero one? Double zero and system ID is ECC, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And double zero one. Now you see when you click on update or oh, maintain the username and password as well. Okay, when I click on update, automatically the logical system name is going to be defined. Okay? By using okay. these credentials. See, okay. click update. See. Able to see the logical name? Yeah. Automatically it was defined by using these system, client, application, system number, username, password, and language. Mm -hmm. Okay? In this tab, we are going to do this. Okay? You can add n number of systems over here. Okay? See, for example, if I click on new, I can add one more system over here. Okay? See, for example... I have a other system that is ECC, right? Mm -hmm. We'll add this system also. Zero 02, right? Mm -hmm. Click. 
अपडेट यूसी बिफोर इट वाज़ जीरो जीरो वन नाउ इट इज एट हंड्रेड एबल टू सी राइट व्हाट इज़ द क्लाइंट नंबर पर्डन क्लाइंट नंबर पॉइंट्स क्लाइंट क्लाइंट नंबर Client number where we use for this BW system we use. Aha, uh -huh, okay, yeah, you are talking about the client number. See, basically, in each, uh, in each client places, we are going to have a different different clients. While installation, they are going to define this client number. Okay. Okay. Okay, while installation, they are going to define this client number. Based on this client number only, we can log in into that respect, like uh, respective system, or else we can't oh. log in. Okay? Okay. okay. So, for each system, there will be two clients or three clients. For example, see, there are some different different application developers are there, right? Mm -hmm. Where you might be heard about the ABAPer, ABAP. Right in the SAP ABAP, right? SAP ABAPs are going to have different authorizations. So, what these guys will do means they are going to assign with a different client, so that they can do the development activities at SAP level in SAP level. So, coming to BW developers. They are not going to touch all those things. They are going to touch the modeling part where they are going to design the models. They are going to extract the data and they are going to load the data. So they don't require the customizations. Okay, at two level in SAP BW. So in that scenario, what basis guys will do means they are going to assign two different clients. So based on those clients, are uh, we are going to log in into BW system or ACC system, and then we are going to do our work. Okay. So while installation, what will happen means they can log in to the different different clients. While installation itself, they are going to define the clients, how many clients they want to define it. Okay. Okay. So that is mandatory where we need to maintain the client. Why? Because if you don't maintain the client, you are not going to see the data of whatever you have done in the client. Whatever the client you have selected and you have done some work, right? Mm -hmm. For example, if you change and if you log in into the client, other client, then obviously you are not going to see those changes, and you can't do the changes also. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, so in this way you are going to update. Now click on role import. Okay, this role import is about like uh, it's a group. See, basically you might be heard about the groups in BO level, right? Yeah. What is that basically? These are all groups, able to see, right? Right. Groups means a particular group will have certain users, right? Mm -hmm. Some of the users, like uh, uh, day before yesterday or in the first class, we we created one group and assigned the users to that particular group in BO level, right? Right. Same way, we call it as role in. BW system and ECC system. Okay. Okay. In that system, we are going to assign the users which should be available in single sign-on. Okay. Okay. Where they can log in into BO system by using a single sign-on concept. Means single sign-on concept means where they can use the same username and the same password, whatever they are using in BW system and ECC system. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The same thing he can, they can use in BO system and they can log in by using by assigning the users to the roles. Okay, mm -hmm. where you can find the roles over here in the left side panel, and yeah. you need to select those roles and send it to the right side panel, and you need to update. 
After doing these all activities, the users will updated in the users list. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And now coming to the SMC settings, this will remain same. Don't be, uh, don't change any settings over here. Okay. This will be the standard settings. And coming to the options over here, you need to select the system like default system, which one you want to go. Okay. Of that, mm -hmm. uh, existing will be the same. Okay, over here, if you come down, and you can maintain the role imported users. All the users should be named users, not concurrent users. You know about the difference between concurrent and the named users, right? Yeah. Now, coming to the last is SAP SSO service. This is the SAP single channel service. I have told you, right? Yes. These guys are going to generate a system ID, user ID, right? That ID we are going to use over here. We don't have any user ID over here. But because we never go with the creation of the single sign-on user ID, okay? Mm -hmm. So that user ID we need to maintain over here. And same way we need to maintain the user passwords for that particular ID, okay? And then you need to click update. After clicking on update, just go to user update over here. For example, if you have enhanced some users, okay, or created some users, new users, and those users you have assigned to the role, okay, respective role, and you want to update those roles or users, then you can, by, by clicking the update now, you can update it. Or else you can schedule, like, for every hour or for every day, you might be going to create two or three users, and that user should be updated in vivo level. Means you need to go for a schedule. Okay, okay? this mm -hmm. will be this schedule. I will show you how the schedule will work actually. See, basically, this will uh, run the object hourly, daily, weekly, monthly, and the day of the month, first uh, Monday of month okay last day of month x day of and the week of the month and calendar okay these all will be there these all objects will be there okay mm -hmm. okay in this way we are going to configure the single panel is it clear amrita yeah Okay, so we are done with the single sign-on configuration, okay? In this way, we are going to do, these are the options where we are going to see in, in where? In single sign-on. Single sign-on. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now. Now, we'll create a universe on top of info group. Okay? Okay. How to create a universe on top of info queue okay just first get into the bw system why because i need to see my info provider over here why because which info provider is working fine and uh, which info provider holds data that i need to check in sandbox system we are coming to real time Based on our requirement, we are going to create the universe. Okay? Okay. So now I would like to find the info cube. Zero LT underscore, please write down this technical name. Mm -hmm. C03. Okay. This is my cube, right? Let me check whether this cube is holding data or not. Okay. How to check? Just right click on this info cube, okay? Click on manage. Okay, over here you can see the request, right? Uh, just check whether this request holds the records or not. Yes, this request holds the records. Just let me check the data in this. Select the target, click on contains. Mm 
click continue okay so now click continue okay click continue taking time to execute We'll check whether this is holding the data or not. Okay, we have all zeros in this. Okay, let's take the other cube. Let's go with this cube. And see, uh, creation of universe on top of SAP is very easy. Okay? okay? Mm -hmm. We have some mass data for this. We have some values right there. Okay? Okay. So now what we'll do is we'll create a universe on top of this info provider. Okay? What is my info provider? This is customer info provider. What is the technical name of this info provider? Zero S D underscore C zero one. Able to say right? Yeah. Now we'll log in into Universe Designer. Just go to start. Okay. Mm -hmm. Universe design tool. <coughs> Maintain the password. We'll go with the nickel user. Okay. Now, uh, how to create? Now, click on new means here also we need to define the parameters. Okay. Okay. Click on New Universe. Okay. 
name the universe sab underscore universe underscore customer right mm -hmm. now click on a new connection where we need to create a new connection for this secured we need to go with the secured one okay click next now choose the driver over here okay where we are we were connecting to the sap right so go to sap expand okay which which system bw right sap business mm -hmm. warehouse expand okay select mm -hmm. sap client okay click mm -hmm. next now configure this parameters okay from where i can do this see basically here we are going to have a sap gui right double click on this gui See what he is asking over here. He is asking username and password, right? That yeah. that you need to maintain over here. My username is SAP user. The password is this one. And coming to client, my client was double zero one, right? Mm -hmm. And language is EN. Application server. What is application server? Where I can see this? Just go to SAP GUI. Over here, select the BW system. Click on Change button. This pencil button. Okay. Yeah. Over here, you can see the application server. Just copy and paste it over here. Okay. Okay. And same way, the system number double zero. And the system ID is ECC. Okay. Now click on next. All maintaining after maintaining these all parameters, click on next. Okay. Now I need to find. See, these are this will be an OLAP cubes. Okay. Over here. <laughs> Info providers will be available in dollar info queue. Bex queries will be available over here. Okay. Info providers means what will come? Like the uh, it is going to cover info cubes, multi providers, and info sets will come under dollar info queue. Where Bex queries will come under these folders. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now I need to find info provider, right? So what was my technical name of my info provider? It is customer zero s d underscore c zero one, oh. right? Okay. Which one? This one. Technical name. You want to see, yeah. right? Yeah. This one we need to enter over there. Okay. Maintain it and click search. Able to see right customer zero g underscore c zero one there right under which folder dollar info cube right click next okay over here coming to this array fetch size array brand size. See, for example, for improving the performance and all those things, you can increase the value over here, so that the performance will be increased at query time. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now click finish. That's it. Connection is defined. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now you are going to have the same tabs: summary, strategy, controls. C 
SQL links and preview parameters. Okay, now everything will be same. Click OK. Now see, after clicking OK, automatically classes and objects are going to be defined. No need to define the joint conditions between the tables over here. Okay. Okay. Okay, is it clear? Yeah. Any questions? No. See, automatically it is defined the classes and okay. objects. Okay. When you expand, you can see the objects. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll explain you about L00 and L01, don't worry. Okay, don't be confused. Okay, now here we in structure planning, we are not going to maintain any tables. Okay, already this is defined as a star schema in BW level. Then why we need to create once again, why we need to define the star schema in BW level. Okay, no need, right? So that's the reason the already existing star schema is done and in BW level. So now it is generated the uh, means like that. Now it is connected to that particular info provider where now it is available for reporting. Okay. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. before that, I would like to save, I would do testing. Okay. Whether there is any some loops or what. See, basically, which is enabled over here, what, ob uh, what you can check over here, you can check, you can praise the objects. You can place the conditions, that's it. You can't do the rest of the things. Like, why? Because this is not non SAP. This is SAP, right? Mm -hmm. Already the activities has been done at BW side itself. Okay. Okay? Yeah. So now click OK to check the integrity. <clears throat> so in today's session uh, this will this will discuss okay this will with this will complete our session okay and uh, in the evening we'll discuss about the back queries how to connect and we'll see some uh, best practices okay mm -hmm. with okay. sap okay Okay. We'll see some best practices and we'll develop a small report on top of these universes as well. Okay? okay. And uh, we'll have a comparison between SAP and Vivo and uh, how to do the impact analysis for SAP universe. Okay? And mm -hmm. what customizations you can do at SAP universe that we'll see in today's session. Mm -hmm evening session and we'll see the customizations which are not possible in SAP and the best practices we'll see. After that, we'll come to the differences between the R3 system and the R4 system. Okay? okay. What differences we have. After that, we'll discuss about the information design tool. This is also one universe where introduced in Vivo 4.0 version. Okay? okay. Now, okay. We need to use, we need to go with the IDG, not with the universe designer. So, okay. the procedure will be the same. Okay, screens are yeah. changed. That's it. Okay, <laughs> that I will show you in that. Okay? okay, and how to use the things, what to do the things, how the joints will you need to define, how the tables will be defined. Okay, what are the new concepts was introduced in IDT level? Those things we'll discuss. Okay. 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 We'll have an introduction with the information design tool, if exactly. possible, if we do have a time in the evening okay. or else tomorrow directly, okay? okay? Okay. All right. So, means today means it will be morning for you, right?
Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> Today, nine thirty p.m. IST. Okay. Your time, so it's going to be. Yes, my time. Ten on my time. Okay. Yeah. 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 Got it. Take some time. Why? Because it is going to hold so many objects. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. So yeah. it will check each and every object, and it will check the condition of that particular object. Okay. 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 Any more questions? No. <laughs> All right. This will take time. Okay. Any questions uh, till here, Amrita? No, no. All right. Okay. See, tracing objects are okay and tracing conditions are okay. Everything is fine, working, right? Mm -hmm. Now what I need to do, I have already done with the testing, right? Now I need yes. to distribute this universe to the enterprise portal. What I need to do, I need to save the universe. In the next portal. Okay. Mm -hmm. After that, I need to export the universe. Mm -hmm. I'll export. Okay. Click OK. Exported successfully. Right? Click OK. Now we'll connect to the web report. Okay? Mm, where to go? So basically, we have created a OLAP, or sorry, it's a universe, right? Not an OLAP connection. It's a universe OLAP connection. Okay? So. Click on universe. Provide the username and password.
Why we are not able to log in this one? Thank you. 
will create over here noises. Okay. Uh, and be a launch pad level. You know, right? We can create a web report in uh, info view level and same way in uh, uh, we have a Windows based tool also. Right? Over here, mm -hmm. select universe, click OK. Okay. Which universe was uh, like uh, it was the name called SAP Universe System, right? This one, right? Yes. Select, click, select. Is going to open the query panel over here with the respective object. Okay, able to see right yeah. over here. When you expand the classes, we are going to find two objects. One is L00 and one is L01. Where in L00 you are going to have aggregated data. See, for example, if I drag over here and if I preview the data, you are going to get all dimensions. Some problem with the system. We'll check that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Where when you drag and drop the L01, you are going to get the business data. Where with L00, you are going to get aggregated data, and for L01, you are going to get business data, means actual data. Okay? Okay. okay. So basically, this L00 should be hidden at universe level. We need to do that. Basically, how to hide an object, just select this, right click, hide item. Right? This will hide the item. Okay? And for end users, we need to enable the object called L01 only, not L00, okay? Yeah. No use of L00. The system has been taken in that way that it is going to be automatically generated where you are going to see the aggregated data. Means mm -hmm. you are going to see all distribution channels. Okay. That's it. Okay? okay. Uh, I think we have some problem with the... Uh, info cube think so so that's the reason we are not getting any data okay or else it should show the data first some error is suffering we are suffering some error okay we'll check this okay we'll check and we'll update you in in the evening session. Okay? Okay, Amrita? Okay. 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 So, in this way, we are going to connect to the, uh, we are going to create a universe on top of InfoCube, and same way we can connect to the uh, web query in this way. Okay? Uh, okay? In the evening session, we'll see how to connect to a Bex query, and on top of Bex query, how to develop a web report, and universe customization, SAP best practices, which is not possible to customize the in customizations, universe customizations, that we'll discuss in the evening session. Okay? Okay. okay. See you in the evening, Amrita. Thank you. All right. Bye. Thanks.